Hey everybody, it's Genji. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about something that's really touchy. It actually used to be a really touchy subject for me too as well. The church, going to church. Um, a lot of my friends, even myself, um, I used to not be a person that went to church. I believed in God, but I was very much so bedside Baptist. I was like, you know, I'll go wherever God would have me to go. But other than that, I don't feel that I have to belong to a church. Um, and through deepening and getting closer into my relationship with God, God started to reveal to me that don't go off of what man does. Don't go off of what man defines the church as. You need to look at the church as a hospital. Let's think about what a hospital is. A hospital is a place that people go when they are hurt, when they are broken, when they are tried everything else on their own and it's just not working or something is wrong with them and they know they need help and when you go to the hospital let's think about this you don't want to go to the hospital but you know you need to go to the hospital something inside you or something outside of you or something you're missing is telling you you need to go to the hospital and when you go into the hospital what do you find you find people that are just like you hurt broken sick got limbs missing you got people that are crazy not right in their mind just broken looking for answers trying somehow to get healed the church is the same exact way the biggest lie that anybody ever told anybody is that church people are supposed to look a certain way oh don't you go to church aren't you a church person ain't you supposed to be this way oh you must not be sanctified you must not be holy this and this and that no that is the biggest lie everybody that anybody ever said. We are all broken. We are all hurt. So why wouldn't the church be the most broken place ever? <laughs> it's a hospital. It's a place where we come to get healed. And when we talk about, you know, yes, there are broken people. Even the pastor can be broken and still be giving a word and God still be using them. Don't you, when you go to a doctor, you have a doctor that's telling you, hmm, hey, you're overweight and, you know, you're, you're diabetic. As he's telling you that he's diabetic and overweight himself, but he knows what he needs to do. He, he got the information. It's the same exact way. Even though we're going through a lot, you need to look at the church as a hospital. The biggest thing that the devil is trying to do right now, and he is really succeeding, is dividing and conquering. If he can get you alone, if he can get you by yourself, he can attack. And he has a lot more ways to be able to attack you and succeed that way. God created us all as a unity to come together. When one person falls short and hurts, all of us hurt. And I genuinely, honestly feel that now. I honestly now belong to a church. I love my church home. Don't get me wrong. There be some, some crazy people in there sometimes. You know, I just want to, you know, let Jesus and kind of, you know, <laughs> give him a stiff arm. But, you know, it's brothers, it's family, it's sisters, it's it's family. And you know how family can be. And I know it's like, well, Genji, I got enough to deal with my own family. I don't want to have to deal with anybody else's family, even though that they may be my family in Christ. But why not? God created the birds as a unity. God created ants as a colony and they all work together god created lions in a pack they all work together they can't survive on their own you think about elephants if they're out by themselves they're an easier target to be attacked but hyenas lions are not going to attack a pack of elephants because they know that uh, they got some cousins that's going to back them up it's the same way with us just something to think about even though people may fall short and may hurt you don't let man define what God is don't let man kick you out of a church just because someone rubbed you the wrong way get back to that unity all right go forth and be prosperous